Hi, I'm Michael Cloverleaf Racing, and today I'm going to show you how to install adjustable front axle mounts. After removing the front axle, I like to scuff up the, the plastic first. I just use an X-Acto knife to scratch it. And in this case, I actually have overspray from the manufacturer. This kit comes with two axle mounts and four adjustable set screws. I like the Instacure Plus over the Instacure for this particular application because it is gap filling. I just put a little bit on, on the surfaces. Now set your axle blocks in there like this. Then I take an axle like this. Now that the blocks are in place and I've installed the axle, you have to let the glue dry. <clears throat> now that the glue is dried, it's time to fill any voids that may have missed the glue. So I, again with the Instacure Plus, I run a bead all the way around the axle block, making sure there's no air pockets or voids. Now again, you'll wait for the glue to dry. Some of the benefits of, of an adjustable front axle is you can adjust your ride height to get your guide flag deeper into the track. Now once I have done all this and these axle blocks are set, I will normally cut out this, the hoop on the, uh, the stock chassis, but the reason I don't do that prior to installing it is it gives it a good place to align the axle with. Now once we set the set screws in here, you'll have about 3 sixteenths of travel that you can go up and down with your guide flag. So you can go from plastic to wood and back again without having to adjust your guide flag at all. I use a number 53 drill bit. Okay. And you want to drill into the chassis. This way, when you put your Allen screw in from the bottom, you'll be, it'll be perfectly lined. I would not use a, a motorized drill for this as it, you could cause damage to your axle blocks or your chassis. And as you can see, this can be done very easily by hand. I just clean up, I'm just cleaning up any burr plastic that came through. Now that you have your holes through the chassis, you can put in your oval point screws. These are different from regular set screws as the head has a point on them as opposed to a flat spot which would grab an axle. Now you want to guide these in and just slowly put them in. Sometimes, if you have a little trouble, I will put a dab of oil on them just to help with the lubrication. But these do go in very easily. Now when you get to the bottom with the chassis, you want to open this hole up just a little bit so your set screw doesn't bite into it. So, so I just use my, the tip of my X-Acto knife and just kind of open it up a hair. You just need the hole big enough that your oval point screw will not bite into the chassis.
These oval point screws come in three different measurements, five millimeter, six millimeter, and eight millimeter. So you can adjust your chassis to any height you want. The bottom one should be flush with the chassis or into the chassis as you don't want them dragging on the track. And so this is my technique for installing adjustable front axle mounts. I hope this video has been helpful to you. I'm Mike with Cloverleaf Racing and thanks for watching.